Hey friends, are you ready? Let's read another Wonder Tales adventure together. Three, two, one. Emma's Extraordinary Adventures. A tale of friendship and magic. Emma's backyard was a magical place where she loved to spend her days. With a wave of her hand and a sparkle in her eye, she conjured up adventures that reached for the sky. One day she was a pirate, sailing the seas, searching for treasure with a crew of make-believe. The next she was an astronaut, soaring through space, exploring new worlds at an incredible pace. She climbed mountains, swam in the sea, met dragons and unicorns, even a bee. Her backyard was a canvas, her mind was the brush, she painted a world that was bright and lush. As the sun began to set and the stars twinkled above, Emma knew it was time to end her backyard love. But she smiled as she whispered, tomorrow's a new day, and I can't wait to see where my imagination will play. Emma tiptoed through her garden, and what did she find? A portal to another world, hidden just behind. With a leap and a twirl, Emma jumped right through, into a place so magical, her eyes widened in view. The sky was purple and pink, with clouds like cotton candy, and floating islands in the distance were oh so very dandy. The talking rabbit hopped up to greet her with a smile. Welcome to our land, he said. We've been waiting for a while. Emma looked around in wonder at the sights and sounds so new, and with a heart full of adventure, she knew just what to do. I'm ready for this journey and all the magic it holds, Emma said with excitement as she stepped out brave and bold. Emma looked around and saw a sight she couldn't believe, talking animals everywhere, all eager to greet and receive. A wise old owl hooted and said, welcome to our land, we're glad you've come to join us and lend us a helping hand. A chatty little chipmunk scurried up to say hello, I'm Benny, nice to meet you, where are you off to go? Emma smiled and introduced herself and asked if they could guide her. The animals all nodded and promised to stand beside her. A friendly fox named Freddy said, I know just where to start. We need to find the fairy queen and heal her broken heart. So off they went through forests and fields, and over mountains high, the talking animals by her side, Emma felt brave and spry. As they journeyed through the land, Emma learned so much more about friendship, trust, and courage, and the strength they can restore. As Emma and her friends continued on, their journey started to unfold. They learned of an evil witch whose grip on the land was cold. The witch had cast a spell of darkness and despair. The animals whispered in hushed tones as they shared their tales of scare. The skies were gray and stormy. The flowers wilted and died. The witch's magic left the land in a state of constant divide. Emma felt a shiver run down her spine and back. She knew they had to stop the witch and get the land back on track. But how could they do it? The task seemed so immense. The talking animals looked at her with hopeful eyes and intents. We believe in you, Emma, and your courage and your heart. Together we can overcome and make a brand new start. Emma felt her bravery surging through her veins. She took a deep breath in and stood up to the reins. We'll face the witch together and defeat her once and for all, for the magic of the land and the creatures big and small. Emma and her friends set forth into the enchanted forest deep. With every step, 
They knew their journey would be steep. The forest was alive with magic and secrets untold and new. With every turn, they found challenges to overcome and breakthrough. A river blocked their path, and the bridge had disappeared, but Emma's quick thinking solved the problem without fear. A pack of wolves howled in the middle of the night, but the talking animals stood guard, and Emma slept safe and tight. The trees whispered warnings of danger up ahead, but Emma's intuition guided them and put all fears to bed. As they walked through the forest, Emma couldn't help but see the beauty and the wonder in every plant and tree. The challenges kept coming, but Emma and her friends persevered until they finally saw the end, and the end was so very near. They emerged from the forest, victorious and proud, and with each other's help and love, they conquered every cloud. Emma and her friends were tired from their journey through the land, but they knew their quest was not yet over, and they had to take a stand. They talked about their struggles and the obstacles they'd faced, and how they'd overcome them all with courage and with grace. The talking animals reminded Emma of the power of friendship, true, and how it can overcome anything, no matter what you're going through. Emma felt her heart fill up with gratitude and love for the friends who'd stood beside her and helped her rise above. Together they faced the witch and all her dark magic spells with courage in their hearts and stories to tell. The witch fought fiercely, but Emma and her friends stood strong, and with each other's help and love, they knew they couldn't go wrong. In the end, the witch was defeated, and the land was free once more. Emma and her friends had saved the day, and their bond forevermore. As they said goodbye to each other, Emma felt her heart sing for the magic of the land and the friends, and the power of everything. The portal took them home, and Emma looked around at the familiar sights and sounds of her old and cozy town. She went back to her backyard, where it all began, and she realized with a start the power of imagination. The journey may be over, but the memories still remain of the magic of the land and the friends, and the power of everything gained. As Emma sat there in her backyard, she knew that her heart was strong, for the magic of the land and the friends would stay with her forever long. All of a sudden, a familiar whistle, eyes wide and ears up, she took off like a missile. Emma ran like the wind while remaining classy. She ran to her favorite person, Tassie. Please like and subscribe.